The Pension Rights Center has been working with you from the beginning, side by side, to repeal the cruel and unfair cuts that were thrust on you by MEPRA. In the 40 years of the Pension Rights Center's existence, we have never seen a law worse than MEPRA. We stand with you today to urge Congress to repeal the pension cuts allowed by MEPRA and to urge the Treasury Department to reject the central state's application to cut your pensions by 40 to 70 percent, which will devastate you, your families, and your community. And let me tell you something, you guys. Treasury has good reason to reject this application because it flunks every condition required by the law. So, Treasury should just flunk it. If, if Treasury lets Central States cut your pensions, it's not just going to devastate hundreds of thousands of retired teachers, widows, and spouses, but it will open the floodgates for other underfunded multi-employer plans to cut their retirees' benefits, which could affect up to a million people or more. You guys, we can find other solutions. When Detroit went into bankruptcy, they originally proposed slashing their retirees' pensions by 34%. But there was such a national outcry that better solutions were found, and we can do the same. Congresswoman DeCaptor introduced the Keep Our Pension Promises Act, which comprehensively addresses the problem. Senator Rob Portman introduced the Pension Accountability Act, which, as you know, addresses the flawed voting process under MAPRA. So what am I saying today? Let's combine forces. Let's find a bipartisan solution that fixes underfunded pension plans, it fixes the PBGC, and it protects us, it protects all of your pension promises. Everyone here has worked hard and you have done everything right. You guys embody the American dream and you deserve to be protected. We will keep fighting with you and we are going to win. Thank you very much.